Hi, it's me, Rashid Ogunlaru, coach, speaker, and author. Hi, and a very, very, very warm welcome to the December um, issue of Catch the Coach, your newsletter for success and inner success, inner fulfillment. And that's a lovely place to start. I don't have a copy of it right in front of me, but this is the 10th anniversary of my book, The Gift of Inner Success. Um, so thank you to all the people, the many, many people over the years who have bought the book, The Gift of Inner Success. Um, just yesterday, somebody was um, telling me the power of that book in terms of their own lives and The Gift of Inner Success is still available on audio from my website, amrosario.com. I just wanted to start off by saying that. Um, but this um, issue is all about the end of the year. We're at the end of the year and this year is very, very significant, isn't it? This is the, this is the time of the year that as we head into the festive time, Yule time, Christmas time, holiday time, um, uh, festival kind of season, it is a very, very significant time for people in all sorts of different ways in terms of faith, in terms of family, in terms of fun, in terms of that opportunity to really look at deep fulfillment and purpose. It's also a very significant time because we are right at the end of the year and um, and it's that period of time where, which invites us to reflect and perhaps to begin to kind of look ahead. And that's what this um, issue of Catch the Coach is about. So um, the theme of this issue of Catch the Coach is about review, recharge and celebrate. Review, recharge and celebrate. So let's review. Okay. What have been the highlights of your year? Pause this, grab a pen if you need to, and let's write this down or let's reflect on it. I think the power of writing it down can be profound. So step number one, what have been the highlights of your year? One, personally, and two, professionally. What have been the highlights of your year? Point two, what have been the challenges in your year? Personally, and professionally. Again, pause this, reflect, ideally write it down. What have the challenges been? And three, crucially, and we often don't do this, what has the learning from all of that been? What's been the learning from the highs, from those highlights? Maybe just, oh yeah, that was a highlight, that was a highlight, that was a highlight, that was wonderful, that family moment was wonderful, that moment at work when I got that feedback, that was wonderful. This moment for my friends and family, this, this, this situation was wonderful. And this were the challenges, these were the challenges, that was a challenge, this was a challenge. What's the learning been? Write the learning down. And how can you use that to help you move ahead? So that's our review. Now, recharge. This is really, really, really important. Decide how you're going to spend the season. I've recorded a separate video, in fact, I've got a number of videos about how to survive and thrive over Christmas. If you type in Rashi Ogunaru um, Christmas tips into a well-known search engine or pretty much any search engine, you're going to get my video um, tips. In fact, if you go straight into YouTube, it will be even quicker and you'll find a number of my videos there. But it's really, really think about how is it that you're going to um, allow yourself to really, really, really recharge. For some of you, it might be about time out. For some of you, time in nature. For some, actually, it's spending time with loved ones that really gives you that opportunity to just let go and be safe and feel really um, held in a really good space. Um, for some of you, it's far more of an insular time. It's a time um, for you or for some people, enjoy going off and doing completely different things, going off um, traveling or spending time even volunteering, doing something that perhaps might be very meaningful, or for you it might be something about doing something which is very spiritual. For you, it might be about you and your own connection to self, to life itself, to, to, to purpose, to source, to spirit, to faith. Um, but also, I want you to be very, very mindful about what is it that's gonna really allow you to completely relax and recharge. So make sure you get the sleep and the rest that you need. It can be one of the few times in the year where we get that opportunity to recharge. Number three, celebrate. Maybe that begins by you reflecting and patting yourself on the back for all the things that you've done this year. Celebrate, having fun, smiling. Really, really enjoy it, really enjoy life. It, it's very significant at this time of the year, not just to reflect on the year, but being grateful fully for the whole year and having seen another year. So be grateful for yourself, be grateful for your health, be grateful for everybody else.
And next up are my top 10 tips for Christmas, which you can see in more detail in a separate video. Number one, budget. Set a budget that you can afford and stick to it. There's no point getting into debt for one day. If it means you need to set a gift amnesty, just buy gifts for one person or just for the kids, then do it. Number two, food and drink, know your limits. There's no point um, getting all the headaches, the heartburn for one day. Know your limits and stick to it. The same thing with drink. Know your limits and stick to it. Tip number three, peace and goodwill. Avoid the arguments, avoid the gossip, avoid the old family feuds. Better still, arrive at a place, place of peace and acceptance and gratitude. Tip number four, celebrate. We've talked about it before. Party, yes, enjoy it, but be safe, really be safe. Keep an eye out for yourself and keep out an eye out for those people who might particularly be vulnerable. Party, yes, um, but be safe. Tip number five, plan where you're gonna be, how much time you're gonna spend where, and, and, and come up with a schedule that works for you. Tip number six, you've got your plan, but communicate it. Communicate to people so that people have they've got time to adjust to it, to get over it, to accept it to appreciate it. Tip number seven, no stress, don't overstretch. So as you head through the Christmas period, if you sense that you're being overstretched, just pause, step back, take a step out, go for a walk, um, and give yourself that extra time that you need to just rest, or take something off of that schedule. Tip number eight, relax, recharge, it's so important. The very few opportunities we get in the year to do this, relax, recharge. Tip number nine, fun, family, friends, and for many people, faith. Remember that that's what this whole season is about. Don't to get too caught up in all the lights, all the shining wrapping paper, all of the trappings and all the trimmings. Be really grateful, show your love, be present, um, and perhaps be mindful about those people who don't have those things, and perhaps you might be able to give somebody a call or stop by or spend a little bit of time with those um, who you know don't have that. Finally, number 10, silent night. Sleep, 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 sleep. It's one of the few times, remember it, um, we're heading into that hibernation time, catch up on the sleep. You might need to top up, recharge, re-energize, and so on. So those are my tips for Christmas. Um, mm, um, yeah, I think my, my tip for the month is really, really being um, present. Present. I suppose all the gifts, all the presents, the cameras, the new phones, the this, the that, the latest gadgets, being present is my tip for the month. Giving somebody a little bit of time, giving them attention, having that chat with a family member that you don't have as much time with usually, being present. Finally, my quote for the month, mm, which just links to that. Your full loving presence is the greatest gift you can give. In fact, let me just give you that again. Your full kind loving presence is the greatest gift that you can give. And sometimes in all the noise and all the busyness, we forget that. I want to wish you all the best. I want to wish you all the best for um, the season that we're in now. I want to wish you all the best as you reflect. I want to wish you all the best as you might even be beginning to gently look ahead and have yourself a wonderful Merry Christmas, wonderful festive season. Um, and I wish you all the best um, for the new year. I'll try and stop by and um, before the end of the year with, a, um, with a, 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 an extra special wish for you. But um, thank you so much um, and take good care. All the best. <laughs>